Alright, in this video we're going to show you how to upgrade firmware on your NVR. I have a um, USB flash drive, it's 8 gigabytes. Uh, you want to use a flash drive of 8 gigabytes or smaller capacity. Just make sure your flash drive is formatted using the FAT or FAT32 file system. Otherwise, the NVR will not be able to read the data on it. Put the firmware bin file on here and connect it to either the front or back port of your NVR. And once I put it in, let's look at the menu. Inside the menu, you will see uh, a pop-up happen, and the pop-up will say either file backup, log backup, config backup, or system upgrade. I'm going to basically right-click and exit out of this because I'm not doing any of these things. I'm going to click, use the right-click again, and go to main menu, and go into camera, and make sure I'm selected on remote on the left-hand side, and then I'm going to make sure my camera is online, and decide which camera I want to upgrade. In this case, it's for a demonstration, we have only one camera here on channel two, and its IP address is ending in .65. I'm going to click on firmware. This is where it lets me upgrade the firmware for a camera, and it tells me the, current, uh, the, uh, the status of the current firmware, it says 2.60 and then it says something else like the serial number, video input, audio input, other specifics about the camera. Now I'm gonna to go to upgrade, I'm gonna select the camera, I'm only gonna do with this one at a time and we only suggest doing it one at a time because each firmware is specific to the model of the camera. If you apply the firmware to all of your cameras and your cameras are different models, you're gonna render them useless. So apply it appropriately to only the camera it's meant for. So here I'm going to select the camera I want to apply it to so by selecting the checkbox. Here press select and navigate to your flash drive. In this case on the top it says my USB disk and I have my firmware neatly located in the root directory and I'm going to just select it and then hit OK. You have to double click if you just press OK, it won't let you proceed. To select the file, you have to double click on the file. And now it says in the address bar on the top, the file name. That means the file's been selected. I had to double click on the file for that to happen. Let me show you that again. I go to select. I clicked once and if I press OK, it's gonna give me that error. Make sure you double click, press OK. Now, press the start upgrade button. It'll ask you that um, it'll alert you saying that right now the camera's connected, do you want to continue? Press yes. And then what will happen is it will do its thing and you'll see the camera go offline and then come back online. So you see in the background here, the camera the video is working and all of a sudden now though, the time clock has stopped on it. That means the camera is in the middle of an upgrade process. The other way you will know if the firmware was successfully applied or not is the new firmware file has a version that's different. It's 2.620 and the old one has 2.60. And if you navigate or um, move the browse bar to the right hand side, you'll see the current upgrade status. Okay, it says here upgrade status is finished. Give it some time for the camera to reboot. And you'll see the video on the camera either uh, go blank and reconnect depending on the camera firmware itself. So here we see it disconnect. It will take about one to two minutes for the camera to flash itself and reboot once the camera goes blank. You'll see an error message first appear if you look on the top right hand side, uh, left hand side, it'll say, cannot find the network host. It's fine, give it another minute or so. The camera negotiates with the NVR and will automatically connect. And here, the camera has reconnected. Now let's go see the status of the current firmware on this NVR, on this camera. And we see that it's changed to 2.062, which is a different now version than before. And 
it's been updated before it was a different number. So we've successfully applied our upgrade file. Let's go back and look at the file version. So it was 620 and that's what it says, 620. So we're all good.